Hello everyone! Welcome back to Yarns and Fins. I am Kay and for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet the Mary Bella dress. A written pattern for this dress is also available to purchase. I will put my shop link on the description box below. As you can see here, I've already made the upper part of the dress. There is a separate tutorial for this. I will put the video link on the description box below. Once you're done with your last round of decrease, go back to this video to continue with the skirt. If you ended your last round with decrease with front post double crochet, you may need to add one more round before proceeding with the skirt. In this tutorial, I will be using this gradient polyester yarn from Afash Berries Yarn. I will put their shop link on the description box below. For this dress, I consume exactly 400 grams for size extra small to small. Now to continue with the dress, begin with chain 3 and flip your work. Then skip the first two stitch and double crochet in each of the next stitches. Shell stitch on the chain one space and then double crochet in each of the next stitches till the third to the last stitch. Then skip the last two stitch and front post double crochet on the next post. Repeat the pattern on the next two shells. Then meet me in these small shells from the front panel. So here in the small shells, I only have 6 double crochets in each shell, but whether you have 8 or more shells, we will work with the same pattern. So skip the first 2 stitch, double crochet next stitches, shell on chain 1 space. Then these next stitches, skip the last two and work front post double crochet on the next post. Repeat that pattern for the next five shells. Then on this last three shells of the round, repeat the same pattern on the first three shells that we just did. To finish the round, slip stitch on the chain three at the beginning. For the next round, begin with chain 3, flip your work. And we will repeat the same pattern from the last round except that all front post double crochets will be back post double crochets. Then after this round, add 3 more rounds with the same pattern, still alternating the front post double crochet and back post double crochet. After that, it should look like this. And as you can see here, I've already made 5 rounds and then you can add a stitch marker on your last round before this so you'll know what round you're already at. 
Next round, or round 6, we will be increasing the double crochets in each shell. To begin, chain 3, flip your work. So to increase, skip only 1 and double crochet next stitches. Then shell on chain 1 space, double crochet next stitches, skip the last one, and back post double crochet on the next post. Repeat this pattern for the whole round and on the small shells or the shells from the front panel, still the same with skip 1. After this round, you can attach a marker so you'll know at what round you did your increases. Now for the next round, we will again not increase the shells so we'll do skip two double crochet next stitches shell on chain one space double crochet next stitches and front post double crochet on the next post repeat that for the whole round After that, add 2 more rounds without increase, still alternating the front post double crochet and back post double crochet. So here is the after the 3 rounds. And this is marker this is where we started this is the next five without increase this is the first round within the increase and then next three rounds without increase in this next round we will again do a increase so we will only skip one in every shells of course don't forget to begin with a chain three and always flip your work in every round After the round, again attach a marker so you'll know at what round you did your last increase. Now for the next 3 rounds, we will work with no increase, still alternating the front post double crochet and back post double crochet. After this round, on the next clip, I will show you at what rounds we will do our next increases so you can take a note.
So here I've already done all the increase rounds. We started the skirt in this marker. This is the five rounds without increase. Increase round, three rounds without increase. Increase round, another three rounds without increase. Increase without, increase without, and the last increase. This will be the same steps for all sizes. And for the remaining rounds, repeat the pattern without increase until your desired length. Still alternating the front post double crochet and back post double crochet. And of course, don't forget to flip your work in every round. After that, it should look like this. For my size extra small, I did 21 rounds without increase after our last round with increase. Now, for the final round, I did not include this in the written pattern, but you can also do this. Begin the round with chain 1. Then on the first stitch, work single crochet and half double crochet on the same stitch. Double crochet in each of the next stitches. Then on the chain 1 space, work 3 double crochets, pico, another 3 double crochets, and the same space. Next, double crochet in each of the next stitches. Then on the last stitch, work one half double crochet and single crochet on the same stitch. And this is how each shell should look like. Then in every post, work front post or back post single crochet. Repeat this step for the whole round. At the end of the round, secure your yarn with a slip stitch or with your own technique. And just like that, we are again done with our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the like button and the notification bell. And of course, subscribe if you want more free tutorials like this. Thank you for watching!